Greetings, this is August 16th at 6 p.m. and this is a picture close to the chasm of some fireweed. It represents new growth that springs forth from a fire area. Now we've switched to a Google Earth image of the Elephant Hill wildfire. As you can see, there are two dots at the top of your screen. Those represent uh, the latest, hottest points, and they're from the 6 to 12 hour map. If we switch to the radiative power intensity, we can see that there has been a growth in the red and yellow indicated within a two hour time span. This could be a combination of heating up throughout the day and or a reduction in cloud cover or part of a control strategy such as back burning. Now we're going to switch over to the KML bundle for Google for the MODIS infrared and as you can see they identify the same areas with an indication this time of heat as opposed to the radiant power. I'm going to zoom into the area north towards Green Lake and I want to take a look at a satellite image with the infrared indicated along with the latest posted map from the TNRD and I'm just taking the two images, uh, overlaying them, and so that we can see how these two maps fit together. So here we have north of the Elephant Hill fire perimeter, and I'm just adjusting the colors until we get the right contrast. And now we can see the relative proximity to Green Lake and how it's moved to the eastern side. I'm going to zoom in to the Young Lake area and we can see this fire perimeter stretched over Young Lake and to the northeast. We can see the infrared at the west end of Young Lake. Now I'm going to move to the western flank closer to 70 Mile House and here we see this extension of the fire perimeter going north and this is so that you who will know the area far better than I can possibly recognize some uh, landmarks in this overlay and have a gauge to where that fire perimeter may have occurred. Why we are not seeing infrared being displayed in this region I suspect could be related to sunlight on the cloud cover. However, I'm not seeing any radiant power being displayed in this area, even though those same indications are visible further south. What we can see is an extension of the fire perimeter stretching from east of Jim Lake all the way to west of the Rayfield River and there's a point to the perimeter and it goes up into the Lake of the Woods area east of Little Green Lake. We can identify Pressy Lake as approximately center of this fire perimeter. It is my understanding from the most recent bulletins that crews were able to successfully stop the northeastern flow of this firehead and are now suppressing it and doing assessments in the area. So I would advise you to please check the links below. This map is an approximation. We are putting an overlay of one map on top of another so there may be variation and we're doing this for interpretive analysis. Now we're going to take a look at Windy. It's currently 8 kilometers an hour coming from the west-southwest. It may be increasing to 13 kilometers an hour with gusts on Friday afternoon. I'm seeing low cloud with limited precipitation and that combination may bring lightning. 
So uh, Friday night, Saturday early in the morning, you want to be on the watch for that. Um, check the uh, BC wildfire for lightning strikes. Also, uh, I'm going to a second computer model here and I'm seeing southwest at 10 kilometers an hour and those same clouds, however, extending through Saturday and Sunday. I'm looking at the latest wind velocity, 10 kilometers an hour, and I see a lot of that western push to the left of your screen. Uh, we're currently in kind of a, a trough, a lot of variation in the wind direction. It may be coming from any area. And I'm just looking at the big bar cams, and in the morning, uh, well, about noon, there was glints of sun, uh, patchy cloud rolling through, and towards later in the afternoon, evening, at 3 p.m., I'm seeing a denser cloud cover, and this may affect the infrared that we are seeking. Okay, this was a very quick update to let you know that I'm not seeing any increased intensity or growth in the infrared. However, I am seeing a slight increase in intensity in the radiative power system that's uh, offered through MODIS, and the links are below for the uh, Google KML bundle. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe, everyone, and do keep an eye on the winds right now. We just don't want to be caught off guard.